five to seven years. That's how long the pandemic is projected to last, prompting some groups to develop new health devices to help the country's pandemic response. The UPC Ball, a group comprised of engineers and clinicians from the University of the Philippines, develop protective and disinfecting equipment. One example is the Sanipad, an equipment which helps health workers safely remove their used personal protective equipment. It's a cubicle para ma disinfect ang PPE ng mga exposed na healthcare workers or individuals. Kahit makalimutan nilang mag hand washing or magano, sigurado na ang hawa kanila wala nang wala nang pathogens. Well, I mean, wala na yung virus. Sonipod cubicles are fully automated, sealed, and can disinfect from head to foot. Sonipod cubicles are also safer than tents since it's automatically disinfect itself after each use. UPC Ball also developed a reusable face mask that is as efficient as an N95 mask but more economical since one mask may be used for up to 30 times. The mask follows facial features common to Filipinos. This prevents the mask from being too tight or too loose. It also comes in various sizes to accommodate everyone. They also created Clean Intubate, a device which can be used to disinfect laryngoscope blades used in intubation. Ang cleaning method ay hawa ka ng isang ano tagahugas yung blade <laughs> yung instruments na yan. So ang gusto nila mangyari, pagkatapos gamitin, papasok na lang dun sa device, automatic na yung ano, disinfection niya in cleaning. The group notes that plenty of health workers acquire COVID-19 after cleaning the devices used by patients. UPC Ball also designed My Best or my bot, a robot that helps connect patients in isolation to their relatives and medical professionals. Yung My Beshi, nandun lang siya sa tabi ng pasyente anytime na gusto niya makasap yung family. Almost all of these devices are pending patent, made by Filipinos for Filipinos to help the public stay safe and for those infected to achieve fast recovery. Mobile Journal, Julie Baiza, We Are One News.